And that's why I think most people don't do it. So again, there are two types of people really in my world, in my worldview. There's results oriented people and process oriented people. The results oriented people split into two. There's only two natural outcomes when you're results oriented. You're either gonna win or lose. You get the base hit, you don't get the base hit. When you lose, someone else is to blame. So this guy is gonna blame someone else. He's gonna blame either the person on his shoulder, the other Stevie, you know, Steve you stink, or he's gonna blame umps, coaches, whoever. Someone else is always the blame. When you win, what happens? Well, you get this confirmation bias that you're actually better than what you really are. And it, it winds up building, right? And unfortunately, what happens and in, in eventually, you know, you're going to lose. You're going to strike out. You're, you're, you're going to come up to people that are better than you. And then you become a giant blamer of umps, coaches. They all stink. I don't stink. They stink. I always won. Think of all those little league kids that when they were 12 and 11 and 10 were the best, right? They were the best. They were awesome. What the hell happened to them? When you talk with your friends when you're 18 to 22, you're like, yo, whatever happened to that dude? When we were 11, that dude was awesome. And again, he was probably awesome and winning all these trophies and winning all these games. And then what happened? He stopped becoming awesome because he thought he was a winner. He didn't have a process and people caught up. And then what happens when people catch up to people that um, think they're winners? Well, they wind up quitting. They wind up blaming other people. So then you have the process-oriented people. Process-oriented people are focused on something that is going to provide learning opportunities. What is the cost of this? As I just said, what's the cost of this? The cost is maybe you give up those trophies when you're 9, 10, 11, 12. Maybe you're not as happy as you could be when you have a swinging bunt or a flare hit or when you're the best player on your team, right? So you're the best player on the team and you're process oriented and you're kind of like not as happy as you would have been if you were results oriented. So again, that's a huge like cost. And I think a lot of people don't want to be process oriented because A, they don't even know about it or B, they're afraid that they're giving away some sort of like good feeling in the short term, right? But I'm telling you that short term cost that short-term costs comes with a huge long-term benefit. So in the, in the long term, if you're process-oriented, you're going to have some sort of benefit that derives from it. In the long term, if you're the short-term benefit over here, the short-term benefit over here is, yeah, you know, you're going to blame other people. And you're going to feel good about yourself, whether you win or lose. You're going to have a good feeling about yourself. Right? I won this trophy. I feel good. Oh, I lost, but that guy's fault. So I still feel pretty good because it's not my fault. But the long-term cost, the long-term cost, you know, is, is significant. You miss so many learning opportunities and you stop growing. You literally cap your growth. So you stop growing.